More than 1,500 people have died in Israel's week of airstrikes on Gaza. Israel's defense forces say they only target Hamas militants, the buildings they use and their tunnels. Think of the Gaza Strip as one layer for the civilians and then another layer for Hamas. And what we're doing now is that we are trying to get to that second layer. Nicknamed the Gaza Metro by Israel, the vast network of tunnels may look something like this. They're used to hide out or move around covertly, and now likely a place to hold some of the hostages. Border tunnels to Egypt are used to smuggle goods and weapons as Gaza remains under blockade. Hamas has used tunnels to Israel to stage attacks in the past. Two years ago, Israel finished a subterranean wall designed to stop militants from tunneling into Israel. That may explain why Saturday's attack appeared to take place, at least primarily, above ground. Inside Gaza, the tunnel network is estimated to be up to 30 meters deep. It makes a huge complication. Uh, this is this is a very difficult challenge. Military analyst Eitan Shamir says the tunnels are thought to be most dense in northern Gaza, from where residents have been told to leave. He believes hostages are almost certainly held in those tunnels, but that Israeli forces won't let that distract them from targeting militants. But if you start to, to take the, the hostages situation into account, uh, it will, it, it, the effect will be total paralysis. But this is exactly what, what Hamas wanted Israel to, to be in, the, in this corner. Drones and robot technology will allow soldiers to detect some booby traps underground. Even still, the sprawling network of tunnels could make the coming days much more deadly on both sides and potentially for hostages too. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.